using the racing post to identify trainer and track trends. Here I've got the racing post open um, and you will see straight away that from the top right hand corner that I'm not logged in so anybody can access this just go to racingpost.com um, and from there select the cards tab at the top of the page once you are in the racing cards then um, for each track select statistics from the list of links uh, underneath the track name so if I click statistics for Taunton um, we're talking about the meeting on the 9th of January 2012 today <coughs> what you'll see is uh, a list of jockeys uh, and their relative stats and then subsequently a list of trainers and their relative stats and um, what I'm especially interested in is the trainers. I, I, I do think I do think jockey trends have some merit, but they are almost cert they are almost always um, closely allocated to trainer uh, patterns. So, for instance, if a jockey has a particularly good or bad track record, it's probably because he's riding a lot of horses for one or maybe two trainers at that track. Right, so um, anyway, uh, looking at the trainers, I can e immediately see on the right hand side by the bold text those trainers who show a profit, but I'm not just interested in that. What I'm also interested in is those trainers who uh, have a relatively high strike rate. So, for instance, um, Paul Nichols at the top has a 35% strike rate at, at Taunton, which is absolutely whopping. Um, but obviously everybody knows about his horses so his overall record is slightly negative but if we if we click on uh, Paul's runners and we go to this um, this link here which is statistics we can then choose GB jumps last five seasons filter by course and click the filter results button and it will give us a breakdown of his runners, just bear with me, at Taunton and um, here we can see that this line this line here shows us his his runners this on the left hand side is his overall performance, on the right hand side it breaks it down by discipline, hurdles, chases and national hunt flat and we can see that his hurdlers um, strike rate is almost exactly in tune with uh, with his overall and the profit and loss the same. Let's have a look at his chasers uh, now, and we can see that with his chasers, he has a one in three strike rate, but a but a a negative. And then with his national hunt flat horses, oops, his national hunt flat horses, um, we can see there that seven of thirteen of one, which is more than half for a nine nine point profit so it's actually worth having a look at Paul Nichols to see if he's got anything uh, entered in a flat race at Taunton today so if we click on the entries and we can see that he's got one two three four horses entered and um, <clears throat> that's in a hurdle that's in a chase and those two are in hurdles so unfortunately for us there's nothing there today for nickels in a flat race but that's something to keep your eye on for next time so okay so um, obviously we're not gonna find a winning uh, angle each time but let's go down to Venetia Williams who has a, a near one in four strike rate and a nice profit to a um, to a pound level stake so we'll do exactly the same here we'll open up her card we'll click on statistics um, change this to GB jumps filter results and sidle on down to um, Taunton again and here's the Taunton results uh, and we can see here that with her hurdlers these these are the hurdle stats with her Taunton hurdle results Venetia has 12 winners from 46 runners in recent seasons and a big fat profit of 36 points so that is definitely something to take a look at um, if we look at her entries today 
at Taunton we can see she's got just the one runner called Cascade and here's a 33 to 1 shot so um, <clears throat> obviously there isn't much market confidence behind this horse but I did have a quick look at this race earlier and I can tell you that it's a pretty moderate affair so whilst looking at the form figures of 8th, 2 seasons off, ninth, and pulled up requires a robust leap of faith to um, uh, to suggest that he can he can beat the favourites in the race it really isn't a race deep in class and as a consequence Cool Cascade might be worth a very small each way investment certainly there's reasons to believe that this horse will improve and many of the horses against it probably have shown their level of form already so that's that's um, essentially one way of doing this uh, if you can combine it with a, a modicum of um, form analysis or form study it can be a very powerful tool and let me just quickly exemplify what I mean by that um, using an example that will probably fall flat on its face a few hours from now uh, so I'm going to do exactly the same at Wolverhampton and I want to bring your attention to a trainer by the name of Frank Sheridan now as you can see Sheridan's overall track record is his strike rate is pretty moderate one in eight or thereabouts but his profit on those runners is over a hundred points in the last few seasons now if you if you have a slightly deeper understanding of racing you might well know that Sheridan if we click on his um, bear with me if we click on his name it will bring up bring up his details and you can see that he trains at Wolverhampton West Midlands right he actually trains at the track so if we look at the statistics we can select the uh, flat or weather drop down here to specifically look at his his all weather and you can see he does well at Southwell but he does predominantly well at Wolverhampton um, two-year-olds no good three-year-olds no good older horses there we go right so his strike rate goes up to one in six with his older horses and um, and the profit and loss obviously goes up commensurately as well because he has no winners with the with the younger horses so if we look at his entries today we can see that he's got one two three he's got four entries and um, all of them demand some degree of respect um, but the one I'm particularly interested in is Needwood Ridge in the 225 and the reason for that is because this horse has run against Gigi's Racing Club's own horse Kajali uh, a number of times and as a consequence I've got at least well a bit more than a passing awareness of his of his form credentials so you can see that this is an apprentice handicap it's a class 6 race um, over seven furlongs. Now I happen to know that Needwood Ridge, I click on his name, he has won a class five race. You can see, in fact, he's won two class five races on the course, one of them over seven furlongs. And in fact, that day he beat, yes, Kajali by a neck. Um, so he's won over course and distance in a higher class. Um, but more importantly, or as importantly, his overall all-weather track record you can see he's only had 11 runs which is much fewer than most of his competitors so he's certainly got he's, he's less exposed than them as well as two wins he's been second twice and third once so in other words he's got about a 45 percent place uh, win and place strike rate at the track um, the last few runs again he's run against Kajali in a number of these races and a number of them have been very slowly run. Now Needwood Ridge is a hold up horse so he needs um, he needs a bit of pace in the race. He has that today and um, um, I would be hopeful of a better run from him. Now he's also drawn in the car park he's got um, he's got the, the widest draw of all and the seven furlong start at Wolverhampton does involve them starting on a bend so um, that's quite a disadvantage if you're a front running or 
pace pressing sort but Needwood Widge is a hold up horse so it's my hope that he can um, tuck in nicely from there and stalk the pace um, just finally you look at Raul de Silva the apprentice who's riding him today if you look at his track record um, you'll note that down here that he also has a positive overall profile at Wolverhampton um, and with his he's ridden five out of twelve winners on older horses now you know again that's that's um, closely tied in with the trainer statistics but the point is when you're betting in apprentice races you definitely want a jockey who um, has proven that he can ride winners and the silver has done that so I, I'd have no worries about the pilot here um, and that's basically it Needwood Ridge um, is a horse trained by a guy who has a strong track record albeit uh, in profit terms in rather than winner terms um, ridden by uh, a jockey who knows his way home and in a race where he is um, he has class and is rated to be competitive now he might he's my stat of the day today um, and he might well finish nowhere but I'm just I, I want to I want to highlight to you the um, the potency of looking at uh, trainer and track combination statistics um, this is something that I used all pretty much all last week with the stat of the day and we finished up with winners at 14 to 1 four to one seven to two four to seven and seven to four so clearly there is merit in this approach and uh, and I wish you well if you um, attempt to use it this is Matt Bisogno saying bye for now